I'm going to show you a ridiculously easy way to DIY your own tea towels. Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing. We're going to be doing a beginner sewing project together. We're going to be making tea towels. I got these really cool panels off of fabric.com. It's an organic cotton and it's by a company called Cloud9 Fabrics. I love their fabrics, they're all organic, and this is a cotton linen blend. And they've made these, I saw these and I just thought they were super cool. They're panels, so all you have to do is you get a panel like this, and they've got dotted lines so you can cut them yourself. Okay, this one's upside down, but you get the idea. So all you have to do for this project, and it's even printed right on the fabric, you just cut on the dotted lines, fold your edges down, and then sew your tea towels. So I don't know what's easier than that, but also stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna share a little loophole with you. I got these from fabric.com, but I didn't have to pay for shipping. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you about a little loophole I discovered with fabric.com so you don't have to meet that $49 free shipping minimum. So stay with me. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to cut out our panels here. I've got my trusty Ginger scissors and all literally it, this is so easy. All you have to do, there's dotted lines on the panel. You just have to cut them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to cut these panels out. You can use your rotary cutter as well. If you want to make it quicker, I'm just going to use these scissors just because I've got them here. And right now I'm not at my cutting mat. So we're just going to cut these out. And on the panels, they actually have some other suggestions for things you can do with it. You can make wall art, you can make tote bags, you can make pillows. And I thought these designs were really cute and Cloud9 has also made other panels. So if you, these designs aren't quite up your alley, they've got others that are adorable. So I thought this looked like a really fun project to do. And if you're new to sewing, this is a good one for you. Also, if you're more experienced, then this will just be a piece of cake. So I think these are gonna make great gifts. What a, I mean, what a neat gift idea. If you're going to a housewarming party or maybe for like a friend's birthday, you can just make them these adorable tea towels. And I just love how everything is just printed out and just super easy. So we're just gonna cut these out and then I'll meet you back here. We've got all our panels cut out. Now we just have to fold the hem over. And I'm actually gonna be using my Clover Hot Ruler, which has been very helpful in doing anything that has a hem on it. So I use this as a guide, and then you're supposed to do a quarter inch. So all I have to do is line this up, get my iron here, and then line this up a quarter inch, and keep going down and pressing. So we're just gonna do this for the whole thing. And see, after a while, you start to really, you can start to really eyeball where the quarter inch is so that you can sort of just guesstimate it and then go down the row here. So now we're going to go back to this other side and fold over twice here. So we're just going to literally, this is such an easy project. You just have to fold over twice. And I'm gonna show you how to do the mitered corner just because look at how much bulk is already in that corner there. Okay. You could probably make all three of them in a cup, in an hour or two, depending on how slow or how fast you sew and how fast you're doing these other steps as well. So, but it's really not a bad little project here. And what's cool is the artist, uh, Eloise, Renoff, I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, but she's uh, a very well-known fabric designer and I've actually gotten quite a few of her fabrics in the past. So see where this corner is pretty bulky here? So we're gonna hit this with the iron and then I'm gonna show you how to do a mitered corner. We've already gotten our folded over edges twice here. So all you have to do is you see how your fold lines make this little grid here? So all you have to do here is cut this little corner. So you want to chop the corner off. All right, so now I've got my corner clipped off here and I'm actually just going to fold 
this in here. So basically you're going to have this and I'm just going to hit this with some steam just so that it stays in place more. And I'm actually going to use some glue to start glue basting. So this is where glue really comes in handy is it really holds your fabric in place while you are working with it before you sew with it. All right, so I've got my fabric here and I'm actually going to glue baste this seam down here and glue basting and basically you can use Elmer's washable school glue because apparently it's really just starch so ah I got a little bit on the right side so but don't worry if it gets on your fabric on the right side because it will actually just wash out so you don't really have to worry about it being much of a problem because it just washes out because it's just starch. So I've got little edges here and then I'm just going to fold these over and you might get a little glue on your hands that's okay, especially because this uh, seam allowance here is pretty small. So I'm just gonna go down here and start gluing my seams and actually this is even sort of holding in place as it is, so that's not too bad. So you're just gonna get your iron here. If you've got a mini iron, that would probably come in handy right now. This iron is the Panasonic cordless iron. I do like it because you don't have to worry about the cord getting mixed up because the cord's just on the base. But notice when I'm glue basing, it really helps hold these towels, and these uh, towel seams in place so that you can don't need pins or anything like that. So I am getting a little glue on my hands here, but that's okay. Normally I would work in smaller sections, but for the purposes of this video, I wanted to show you in a more quick manner. So that is what we're doing here. All right, here we go. So let's see what happens when you put the other side of this mitered corner down as well. So this is how you get this really nice mitered corner here see so all we're going to do here is put more glue down and you can either glue the fabric or you can glue what it's going to be glued onto so i'm just going to put some glue here fold my edges under and then there we go here's your nice beautiful mitered corner sorry the iron might get in the way a little bit more but that is okay all right, and here you go. So that is how you can get mitered corners on your tea towels. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these up and then I'll meet you back here where all we have to do is sew this down. This is actually the easy part. I've got my walking foot on the Eversone Sparrow 25. I usually like to keep the walking foot on for most projects. I've got a stitch length on three and I also lined it up just so that we're going to be edge stitching. So you're going to be just stitching along the very edge of your hem here, which should be a little over a quarter of an inch just because you had to fold it over twice. Just start in any random spot and uh, just start to sew. Obviously, I did use thread that matches the tea towel. So the tea towel is sort of an off-white. So I found sort of an off-white slash beige thread. And I'm actually going to go ahead and snip off the threads because you're going to end up stitching over that line anyways. So you should be able to lock your stitches at the end. I just personally don't like a lot of loose thread floating around. So I like to do that as soon as possible. So and we are sewing from the back side. And you just want to make sure that your stitches are catching this hem. And then when we get to the corner, we're actually just going to pivot. So this is pretty much just one continuous line of stitching. When your needle catches the other side of your mitered corner, that is when you'll want to pivot.
And when you get to your start starting point here, you just want to make sure that your um, stitch line matches up with the first one you did. So that will lock your stitches in place. And my sewing machine actually has a lock stitch as well. So I'm just going to do one of those, pull it out and snip my threads. And voila, about an hour later, I've got three adorable tea towels. And most importantly, they were super easy to make. So you can make these for a housewarming gift if you're just trying to take something to a friend. And I do want to share with you a quick tip I learned about shopping at fabric.com. Of course, it's one of my main sources for fabric, but if you've been to the website, you've seen that there's a $49 order minimum to get free shipping. But did you know the company is actually owned by Amazon? So I learned this recently. If you go to Amazon and you search for the same fabric, most of the time it'll pop up for me and there's actually no minimum order for free shipping. So in this case, I just ordered this panel. It was about $11 and I got it in a few days and I didn't have to pay for shipping. So if you don't have a large order and you have an Amazon account, definitely do that and you don't have to pay free shipping. So that's a loophole I found that I just wanted to share with you. I'm linking everything that I used in this project below in the description box as well as where you can get these panels because I think they're just super cute. They're organic cotton and they're a linen cotton blend. So I am really excited about these. And question of the day for you guys, if you do end up making these tea towels, who are you going to give them to or are you gonna keep them for yourself? I will see you next time and be sure to subscribe for more. I'm Jennifer Moore for The Sewing Report.